What's up? So, I'm not wishing in Woodering Waves until Union level 80, and we have currently reached level 40. Well, almost. This is the progress I've made so far, and I'm gonna reach level 40 in this video to see what changes and what doesn't. So we just have a bit more XP to do, around 325. So I'll just complete these activities and we should be at level 40. Let's go and complete the passive field. Okay, just 20 more points. I wonder how much harder the game will become, or will it stay relati relatively the same? Alright, then we claim all this, and we manage we will get to level 40. Uh, let's look at the data bank. Now, we, I couldn't get to 19,221 because I have to be in phase 5, so that'll be maxed out. I've gotten every single echo, gold, and let's max it out. There we are, level 40. Perfect. Now we unlock the quest apparently. Now we just need to complete a certain run, I'm guessing. I don't think the difficulty will jump up that much. Oh yeah, we're ground. This is this is this isn't even that hard. Okay, I did not dodge that, and I didn't dodge that as well. I don't know how to play this game. All right, okay, wasn't too hard. So difficulty overall shouldn't be bad. And uh, now we are data bank level twenty one, which is max level. Now, these are all the characters that I have on this account from Not Wishing. You get Yan Wu from Tower of Adversity, and Sanwa was given for free at the beginning of the game. And then you get Chixia and Yang Yang throughout the story. These are my main three characters that I use. I need to I'll need to level up him and Sanwa for Tower of Adversity to get all the stars. So that'll take a while. Rowe is using a four-star sword, and this sword was taken from a free four-star selector, which was given to you at the start of of the game and I went with the sword for my rover because before that he was rocking with the green sword and it wasn't doing as much damage. Chixie is using the blue pistols which can be crafted and so far he's using the green and she's using the blue sword. I can craft more four stars but I don't know if they will be the most viable. Uh, for them. I think I can get her four star guns from a specific vendor if I remember correctly in Tiger's Maw. Now I'm not going to talk about my echoes because they are horrendous. For example, this one, this one is horrible, it has crit rate, but these stats are absolutely awful so I need to get another, another one and change this sooner or later. Oh, we have something in the store, a bundle! Ooh. I don't mind. Thank you. Data bank, obviously. Oh, we can claim all this. More asteroids. Let's go. Okay, now we're guaranteed five star echoes every single time an echo drops, which is good. Now, in terms of challenges, it is 66, 95, 37, and 71. I will not be exploring the whole map. I've never done that in any game. So I might just get to 80 to 90% for each region and then leave it at that. Because if I try to 100%, it will just take way too long. And I'm just not bothered to do that. Now, let's see if there are any differences in drop rates and see how how much stronger the enemies have gotten. Ain't that difficult. And I'm bad at this game, so if it's not difficult for me, it won't be difficult for you. And now let's see what the differences in rewards are. Okay, we get three this time, and the previous one, I think, if I remember correctly, was two. At least it's one extra. And um, let's see what the tassel feels are like now. Alright, now it's time to claim. Obviously, all golds. Two and five. 
If I remember correctly, it was only one last time. So it's just one extra? Really? Okay, that's kind of low. All right, okay, I'll just use one more solvent so I can do a forgery and see what the difference is like in those because I'm gonna need a lot of them. So, oh, so we have a chance of getting a gold. Alright, not as difficult as I thought it was going to be, so it was fine. Okay, we got no gold, we got no purple, 7 and 4. What? Not even a guaranteed purple? That is not good. <laughs> not good at all. Maybe level 50 will probably be a guaranteed purple. I completely forgot about these holograms. I'm going to have to do all these difficulties to difficulty 6. I mean... I can do them and make a video of each one. Those shouldn't be too hard, so should be fine. So in terms of rewards, they don't really increase that much. These forgeries don't increase basically at all, since I didn't even get a guaranteed purple. The world bosses got give you one extra, and then the Tassa fields give you also one extra experience tube or whatever you call it. But I mean, at least you get all golds, which isn't too bad, but kind of sucks it still kind of sucks though and now the final thing to now check is the wishes i have 20,000 asteroids right now 135 standards and 49 limited i also still have the voucher that i haven't used yet and i don't know if i'm allowed to use it so just tell me in the comments if you guys think whether i should use this um, voucher if it's allowed because i am wishing for the character technically but it's guaranteed and everyone gets one but i don't know and there's also a five star character coming out that will be completely free for everyone and i just want to know if you guys think that's cheating as well whether i should be able to use that five star character on my team or i should just get him and not touch him whatsoever i would just like to hear the opinions of you guys to see what you guys think um the next updated video technically will be when i reach level 50 um videos before that will probably be me trying to complete those calamities and that's really it it'll probably take me a year or longer to reach level 80 um thank you all so much for watching yes. appreciate it um subscribe for more and make sure to like this video and thank you and i'll see you in the next video peace